Hi guys, just getting ready. It's Friday the 10th, I look a bit weird. I am on FaceTime to my sister. We're getting ready together. And she got very confused because I started off doing my makeup with my eyes, which I never really do. I normally start with my skin. And now she's like, I don't know what to do because that's confused me. Like, do you want to be doing the same? Do you not? This is my last night of being 29. I am 30 tomorrow. Can you believe my age starts with a three? Hey, that is wild. Yeah. So I, I cannot believe this is the big 3 -o. The big 3 -o. The big 3 -o. Oh my gosh. <laughs> luminous silk on my skin. I feel like my makeup isn't as good as when I did it the first time the other day. I don't know why. Oh, maybe I'm missing mascara. Mascara and lips should change things. Let's try that. This mascara is truly, truly epic. This is the Lancome La 8 Hypnose. Look at that. Before, after. <sighs> Just had a bit of a I can't find my eyeliner, I can't find my lip liner. I thought I was in bags of time and I do not. I'm going to celebrate my 30th birthday. I'm going to my favorite, favorite restaurant, LPM in London. My favorite band are coming. I'm nervous for some weird reason. 30th birthday calls for a brand new pillow talk. Just put on my dress and I've really got a stain on it. Great news, great news. Tonight I'm wearing a mix of Love Don't Be Shy and Angel Fair from Killian. And I'm wearing my double Hannah earrings. I think they're really cool. Oh, I need a necklace. I'm gonna put on a Rachel necklace. It's like a little knot necklace. I feel like wearing silver because I think it goes well with my dress, which is this Alex Perry number that I found on Moda Operandi. It was literally the last one in my size. Shoes. I tried two different shoes, but the other ones were really uncomfortable. Like, as soon as I put them on, they were uncomfortable. So, I have new Renee's. Special birthday Renee's. And I think I might wear a blazer over the top, just because it's a bit light outside. Ready to celebrate my 30th birthday. This is my outfit for my last night of being 29. What do we think? I feel like my hair needs a bit of a zhuzh, but to be quite frank, I just don't have time. Look at my incredible shoes. They're so amazing. I love them. I've put a supermodel body on my legs, so they're super glassy. Just arrived to dinner. This is the table situation. I love LPM because it's literally like the table decor is fruit and veg, pretty much. The queen is here wearing rainy earrings. Yes. You are a true model of the time. I love that, that for me. Earrings. I love that. Thank you so much. I stay got us friendship bracelets. The best gift ever. Mega vibes. I can just feel the vibes over here. Why are you cornering out? What? I'm just breathing out of us. I get nervous. Stay using my 30th birthday to plug no water. She's now selling it. Lauren. Lauren is buying the entire mirror water website. Here we go. Had to call the entire thing. What are we buying mirror water wise? She's 108 pounds. All four products that you do. Products. I know. You are an amazing saleswoman. No, you know what? Mirror water is where it's at. I'll take the hit for you. Well, it's 11 a.m. I've had a bar of dairy milk. I've had a bag of sweets oh, and a coconut water, and oh, I haven't I'm... got out of bed. <laughs> no, but definitely have toast. You've got to add toast in the mix. Oh Cough. yeah, I need to zap myself some toast. Toast, a bit of butter, a bit of butter, butter and salt. That is a real. Tea. Guys, I sweat I'm so much party. that my. How was the birthday? And you looked unreal. <laughs> oh, thank you. I really missed you both. My fake tan came off just on my underarm. That's never happened to me before. So I just have like white well, underarms. It's a bit weird. It's a, it's a white. The dress was unbelievable. Yeah, I loved that dress so much. 
It was so beautiful. It was absolutely, it was absolutely stunning and the perfect dress to dance in as well. It was a good dress. It held up the boobs, you know. I'm not having another party until I'm 40, so you have 10 years to save the date. So whatever that else happens on yeah, that day. Gosh. I'm going to have to let my whole family know. <laughs> You're going to have to tell them. Yeah. Nothing well, else can happen. It was really an iconic situation. It was an iconic night. First shower of my 30s, definitely needed to get this hangover out of me. My mum and Hannah here. I'm going to put on some clothes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, my fave donuts. I love these. Traditions. Look at this, flowers. Oh my gosh, I make a wish. Make a okay, wish. Okay, let's see. Look, look at the state of me. Woo! Oh my god, they're my fave donuts ever. <laughs> Should we go into the kitchen? Yeah. I'm so tired, not know, but. Uh, look, these incredible balloons arrive from Tamara and Lauren. I, am dying. I hadn't looked at myself in the mirror this morning. I just walked downstairs to open the door for the balloons and I saw myself in the reflection of this balloon and I was like, oh, <laughs> dear Jesus. It's, it's right. not a sight that you want to see <laughs> on any more. There's four balloons. <laughs> There's four balloons. Do we start with the donuts? Yeah. Yeah, let's have some dough. Have a donut. Oh, These, which ones? This is, I think this is like peanut butter or something. Mm. Raspberry, this is like chocolate hazelnut. Oh, he's done new flavours. There's this bar, mm. bar of 22. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I haven't had any. I haven't had any. Well, we want my new hungover filler. Oh, really? Yeah. I've had dairy milk, sweets. Mmm. Um, what about at mother's hangover advice? She's never even <laughs> tasted wine. <laughs> yeah. Never tasted no, a drop of alcohol. True. I have. I have. No, that's but great I know for juice. They, I have read many times that if you have honey yeah. in the morning. Yeah. It balances your sugar levels. That, um, you Made know, my sugar levels are too high. They don't need balancing. <laughs> I'm taking Jack's advice. What Sunglasses for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't take them off. Is that what Jack said? Don't take them off. That's what you need. Best gluten free donuts. Mm. Thank you so much. Mm. Mm. Just what I wanted. I love cards. Did you write me a love letter? With your laughter. I the was in a bad mood. What are you what? talking about with your laughter? Oh my god, not at all. You inspire me every day with your laughter, determination, perfectionism, and boss bitch attitude. Oh, thank you for always leading me through life. I couldn't do it without you. Oh my god, mommy's gonna go. Oh my god, are you crying? Oh my god, you're both crying. Are you okay? I mean, mommy cries at everything, but Hannah never cries. The last time you cried was when I got engaged. <laughs> We have a lot of energy you need to release. We need to talk about that. Glasses <laughs> is not coming off. I no, literally haven't off. seen you cry since I got engaged. Oh, oh my god. Yes. You open it. <laughs> okay. Let's Are you going to cry more too? Thing. We can't deal with tears. Too hungry with tears. <laughs> oh. On your 30th happy birthday. By the way, I highly recommend oh. Waking up on your birthday extremely hungover. Yeah. It really just takes you yeah, through the really day. Yeah. I know you wouldn't oh. know what that feels like. <laughs> you just fly nice. on through. Oh, right. Ooh, wow. You didn't sign it. Yes. All oh, right, Beth. I cannot believe that 30 years ago today I gave birth to you. <laughs> Where did the time go? <laughs> you have developed into a beautiful lady, <laughs> accomplished, hardworking, with strong values. You have a heart of gold, and my wish for you is to find happiness and contentment and the love I thought that it you said commitment. <laughs> happiness and success laughter Aww. all in good health love you so much my beauty sweet Aww. that's really nice Aww. thank you you smell good mm. those you smells good all right i sprayed love don't be shy oh, mm. that's why to wake me up you know oh my god this is gonna this be one. too funny okay. what is this oh yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> i'm dying <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, I love them. So they're sweet. really sweet. They are adorable. Oh my god, they're so, so sweet. sweet. 
Yes. They are so cute with the little camellias. I love them. They're really cute. They're so cute. <laughs> I've taken Hannah into the showroom to have a oh look. Oh my goodness. What do we think? This is crazy Isn't it town. crazy town? Wow. It's unreal. Oh my, we must go through everything at once. Okay, I'll show you everything. What do you think on first glance? So zen. Isn't it unreal? It's a zen situation. God, she's even taken off her sunglasses. Oh, God, not the sunglasses are off. Oh, God. The sunglasses are off. Just trying on a birthday outfit. I'm going to show you in the mirror. Barely opened the curtains today. It's like dark in here. Hold on. Excuse me that I'm still not wearing makeup. I'm going to sort myself out today, I promise. I wanted to show you as soon as I tried it on. This little two-piece set that I really wanted from We Were What. It's got like really cute little bells sleeves and wide 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 shorts and it's so sweet I saw this on her Instagram and I just loved it I just really liked the little set and I thought it looked really really cute together I feel like it's a good one for summer but like on kind of colder days well colder days in London I feel like this is a great set okay I am feeling a little bit more alive not gonna lie I haven't done that much today I have had a nap my sister and my mom came over and that was literally my day and now i'm getting ready because oh hold on guy just replied to my outfit good or no well i just sent guy a picture of my outfit to see what he thinks and he i said what do you think and he goes yeah very i'm like is that a yes or a no hello anyway this is a very very old dress that i'm wearing tonight and i'm not sure about it what do you think the corset is like digging into my hips I think I wore this like for the first time when I was like 18, 19 and my hips be growing. So tonight is technically still my 30th. Guy's birthday is tomorrow and because I celebrated last night, he's celebrating tonight. So it's kind of like a, a part two, if you will. A birthday part two. Um, so he's doing a big birthday dinner tonight. Not as like dancing and jumpy around. It's more, much more civilized. I'm just getting ready. And my cousin's birthday, 40th, was last week. So I'm gonna pop into that on the way to dinner because the two venues are like round the corner. So I want to, did I get that on there? No, I'm just putting on a little bit of supermodel body. I've had three showers today. Probably not good for like the pH of the skin and stuff. But like, I had one shower to wake up, one actual shower, and then I had a nap and I woke up sweating, probably like sweating out all the alcohol, so then I had to have another shower. So it's probably not very good for me to have three showers, I don't think. Is it good for you to have three showers? I don't think so. I'm not sure. You, someone will let me know and be like, actually, it's not that bad. Or that's horrific, never ever do that. I'm literally trying to cream myself, honestly, if you go out without nicely lubed up skin. It just doesn't look as good in pics, let me tell you. Guy goes, I like it genuinely very good. Okay, so we have birthday boys approval. It's fun because since we were like, I don't know, 16, Guy and I have shared a birthday. Like there's always just been a cake for him at mine or a cake or just like a, a nod to each other's birthday. I told him not to do that at his birthday last year because it was like post pandemic vibes. And I was like, no, keep your thunder. And then this year was my 30th and I was like, I'm keeping my thunder. Oh my God, everyone's sending me videos of last night still. They did the song Maria Maria, but they did Amelia Liana. It was so good. Oh, it was so fun. Everyone keeps sending me videos and I just wanna watch them all. So people will get, will ask me a lot of questions, I think, about the restaurant and things like that. LPM, where I did the dinner, is a normal restaurant. They do often bring my absolute favorite brand, which is Troubadours, and you can book for them for when they do that. However, I flew the Troubadours in from France and I was like, it's my 30th, guys, we're going, we are going for it. Um, so, <laughs> bought them in and rented out one of the rooms in the restaurant so we could really go wild without disturbing anyone. And their staff there are so great. Everyone that works at LPM is so epic because they're so up for a good time. Like I was dancing on the bar with one of the guys on the team that 
organized pretty much everything for my birthday doing shots together like they are so much fun and like they have a great time which just makes it even better they know us all really well and they just let us completely run wild which i'm so grateful for because it just makes everything so special they really are such a wonderful wonderful team I have to say I'm having a real love affair with the Rachel necklace right now. Last night I wore the silver and tonight I'm gonna wear the gold. It's just my fave right now. Guys, I changed dress. <laughs> I just wasn't comfortable in that dress. Of course it was too tight and it's gonna be a long like three course dinner I think and I just wanna be super comfy. And I've never worn this one before so I like wearing new things. I think it's got a really sweet little bow which means you actually can't see my necklace I might take it off and I've got little marigold hoops on and I think this is much more of a vibe. One of my extremely incredible generous birthday presents was this bag which I need to take the sticker off because I opened it yesterday and then wore it last night which is so beautiful. It's this incredible tweed chanel. It's my first tweed chanel and I love all these colours are my favourite. Blue, pink, white and black. Like it honestly makes me a bit speechless this bag. It's so I have to I feel like I have to talk calmly around the bag. It's just so beautiful. I normally keep bags in boxes for like months and months before wearing them, but I was given this present early, so I decided to whip it out and wear it because it's so beautiful. Ready, and I'm wearing my new shoes as well. And I'm also running late, so let's go. <laughs> Guys, I lost my voice for a day. That's never happened to me before. And as I told Pia today, I am a woo girl. I woo a lot. People are like, give me a woo, and I'm like, woo! You know, I'm a woo girl. So my voice has a very high tolerance for wooing, but I think this whole weekend, a double whammy birthday situation, it was just like, Phew. But anyway, I got it back today. So I didn't vlog yesterday because I was really on tender hooks there with the voice, let me tell you. And it's still kind of croaky. It's more croaky than it normally is. I went to Guy's birthday lunch and I was actually wearing this exact outfit, so don't judge me, but I just put it on. I don't really have an excuse, actually. I'll tell you the real reason. The real reason was that I put away all my clothes and I couldn't be bothered to think of a new outfit. And now I just realized that I don't have an excuse, and I think I have makeup on this and it needs to go in the wash. But anyway, it's a really good outfit if I may say so myself, so I'm going to show you because it's all high street. So this is my outfit. I'm really, really happy with this, which is another reason why I decided to wear it two days in a row. <laughs> this is a little Zara crop top. I think I might get this in black because it's literally the perfect shape and size. And then these are some cos trousers. I had to get these altered and I wore little heels today and yesterday. So I need tiny, tiny little heels for these, but they are such gorgeous trousers. I mean, look at those pleats and the button. I feel like if I told you they were 900 pounds from net porte you'd honestly believe me, right? Like, don't they just look incredible? What a great high street find. I do actually need to change outfits because I am going for dinner with my family. Oh, my doors are stuck. And my parents and my grandma normally come to my birthdays, but this year I kind of wanted like a big fat smash. And I just felt like even though we're 30 and we're basically adults, parents are still more adults and it was just a not an adult kind of vibe. It was, it was a youthful vibe, even though we're 30 now, so. <laughs> but it was like a youthful vibe, no parents, just really licking shots off people's stomachs and dancing on tables, you know what I'm saying? I can't even remember what I've actually debriefed with you now. This whole weekend has just been like such an amazing fun blur. I literally had the best time ever on Friday night. Like that was the most fun party. And one of my friends, Cameron, said it was the best dinner party he's ever been to. And I screenshotted it. I told him I screenshotted it because I was just so happy. The troubadours always bring the best, best, best vibes. And the LPM guys always bring the best vibes for us like to see everyone just having the best time made me so happy tonight we're going to one of my favorite restaurants i feel like i've eaten so 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 well yesterday we had lunch at sea london the night before we were at harry's bar which is so delicious and my birthday was at lpm tonight we're going to another favorite restaurant of mine river cafe and then i'm officially done with birthday <laughs> shenanigans then i'm done so tonight is family and it's mama rachel my dad's sister my parents 
Hannah and I think my other aunt and uncle are coming as well. I wanted to show you a few birthday gifts because I know you guys love seeing them. And normally I do a what I got for my birthday video totally separate, but I thought because you've seen quite a few already, I'll mix and match, like do one big old vlog, you know? I have to give a big mention to my Sandra Pay Lux whipped cream mousse, which keeps me looking bronzed and my purity face mist because, whoo! I love that stuff. Right, let me show you what I got because I've just been literally like arranging my life. So for anyone that knows me, you know that I literally keep designing things in the box until like I'm mentally prepared to take them out and that's normally like two months. I got a few gifts this weekend and I already opened them and one of them I wore on the Friday night and on the Saturday night as well. It just felt like such a special bag. I wanted to wear it straight away. First you saw my favorite most gorgeous gift from Estee which was crystal matching friendship bracelets that says forever if you're an OG of us like watching us you'll remember we had like matching friendship YOLO bracelets and hers says always and mine says forever and she there was a pink one and a white one she was like what color do you want and I was like pink and she was like thank goodness because I want white <laughs> so I kind of love it because it goes with my stack like I think it's so cool and I said I wanted loads of bracelets on this summer so I'm very happy with that I love it sorry my voice is still kind of going my mom and my sister came around and my sister got me the attire matching black like two-piece set that has been like delays in production so she said it hasn't arrived yet but I did tell her that I, that's what I wanted for my birthday and I'm so excited to get it because I just feel like I'm I'm on a suit vibe right now and I, I'm kind of liking that I feel like it's very me and it looks quite sexy as well so let me just show you the bag which if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen already this is my first ever tweed Chanel bag and it's so 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 beautiful and it's literally all my favorite colors it's white blue and pink and it's got a little blue leather chain on it it was a tiny bit long on me but i have this chanel it's like a little clasp you can ask for it at chanel when you get a bag so you can make the strap as short or as long as you want so that's great and actually in the bag i opened it and <laughs> Everyone says I look like a gremlin. Jack kind of started the thing that I look like a gremlin. I think it's because of the eyes. He says it's because I have really expressive eyes. <laughs> and gremlins have very expressive eyes. And anyway, so I opened the bag and literally this gremlin is like shoved. I don't know how they got it in. Shoved in the bag and it was like gift wrapped and everything. And I was like, did you take the gremlin to Chanel and tell them to wrap a Chanel bag with a gremlin inside? But I, I don't know how Chanel got it in because... Hold on, they must have got him to sit. Oh my God, they got the gremlin to... How did they do that? Yeah, there. Oh my gosh, like just closes. And then I open the bag and I'm like, <laughs> can you imagine opening a Chanel bag and seeing like a little gre the gremlin eyes like coming out at you? Do we look alike or not? Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I kind of see it with the eyes, I'm not gonna lie. So this is my little gremlin and I love it because it's so mini. I think I'm gonna wear this bag tonight as well because it's literally my new favorite bag. Last week you saw my mom and I go to Hermes together. I got something from Hermes which I'm not gonna unbox for a really long time. Well, like maybe a couple months. So when I get that, I'll show you what it is but I think I've posted it on my TikTok already actually because I tried it on in the store. Oh, this is the best gift literally ever. This is me. I can't tell you how many people over the years have bought me like giant dairy milk bars because they just made me so happy and I actually finished them in like embarrassing record speeds oh oh my gosh love don't be shy by Killian my favorite fragrance I wear it all the time but the travel size version with refills like what a great gift for me I love that because I can never have enough of this fragrance honestly my mom got me these incredible little Chanel shoes which are flip-flops. They have a tiny little heel with the camellia on the front. I think they're stunning. Like, so, so gorgeous. I love the shade of pink. And I think they're really, really pretty. I like that they have a little mini heel in them, actually. My friend Isabella, who is literally so stylish. I'm obsessed with her. I posted this suit on my Instagram stories the other day and she was the one that recommended me the suit. She got me the vampire's wife eye mask, which actually goes in my bedroom. She said she thought it went, it's literally the most bougie eye mask in the world. Like, look at that. Oh my God, I'm dying. I should take off this tag. Isn't that cool? I literally wore it to sleep and then I'm so obsessed with like new things. That I put the tag like back on, but as soon as she gave it to me, I was like, I'm wearing this in my bed and feeling like a bougie 30 year old. And then also she got me the matching hot water bottle case, which is so funny because I literally use a hot water bottle every night. Like even in the summer, I love sleeping with a hot water bottle in bed. I just, 
I find it cozy. <laughs> it's really weird. So I'm obsessed with Hermes Arounds. And I have three colours. I think I might sell one of them. I'm going to sell my blue pair. I'll probably sell them on my Instagram stories. Because they are just a tiny bit too big for me. I feel like honestly my feet have shrunk. And I've gone half a size down in my Hermes sandals. Which is so weird. So I bought those ones like half a size too big anyway. Because I wanted the colour and they just didn't didn't work at all which was really silly of me but anyway these are my latest color I was toying between a green and a yellow and I love the yellow look how incredible this yellow color is let me see if it has a name on the box it doesn't have a name on the box but I will try and find the name and link it on the screen I think it's Jean Citron I'm not sure anyway aren't these incredible like I am obsessed with yellow I love bright colors I'm so happy this summer is going to be a summer of bright colors like not just for me but in general for brands I feel like it's just the summer of bright colors like pastels are over goodbye we're done with you Hannah and I just got ready with each other on FaceTime I am 90% sure I've tried on everything I own and ended up in a t-shirt and jeans this is just what feels jeans <laughs> this is just what feels like the most me now like I have so many dresses that I just don't feel like a me anymore it's really weird I need to kind of address that and see what is going on with me but I just put on a frilly love shack fancy dress that I loved last year and I just don't feel like it's me like I feel like this is this is what I feel most comfortable in now which I never ever ever did like I didn't even own any t-shirts so I have this little off shoulder t-shirt which I love Can you see that there we go and this little Pacheri a necklace I've got my favorite jeans which are so uncomfortable they're the worst jeans in the world I'm just telling you now but they look the best <laughs> the theory jeans I love they're so comfortable but these jeans Oh my god they like give you a wedgie i swear they give me thrush just from wearing them like thrush and cystitis just from wearing these jeans so good times i'm wearing them tonight these are the rails top anger jeans and then i have these little aquazura shoes on which appears favorite and i love them now i think they go really well with my new bag most unassuming place ever you literally have no idea where you are and then all of a sudden you're in the best restaurant I just told my mum that you since last dress. week I've messaged her at 11 11 no, every day. No, check on WhatsApp. Today I messaged you at 11 11. I messaged you at 11 11 every day just so you think it was a good omen. <laughs> I set an alarm. Today I replied to you. You messaged me last night and I replied to you today. Yeah. No, then I replied to you today at 11 11. No, you didn't. I did. Give me your phone. Give your. <laughs> 15.38 Today <laughs> No, go up Today <laughs> Then today go up Our first message today was at 11.11 11. Oh yes Oh yes oh my gosh. So you didn't notice today. Yeah, no and the other days Dinner is served My mum and I are being really boring having some grilled vegetables Mum Rachel's asparagus looks good though Everyone's been very quiet <laughs> Just felt me Cake ever. Oh, beautiful. Rachel, it's 10 o'clock. I need your comments on me doing shots of that belly button. <laughs> what did you think about that? Well, are you recording it? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't want to say anything. Did you not think I looked really talented? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Last night was. So cute and so fun. I loved it. Let me put you down there because I am gonna open my card from Mama Rachel because her cards are always my absolute favorite. I haven't read it so we can read it together because even her envelopes are good, like Amina, my sunshine. For someone special on your birthday, your birthday is a special chance to say how much you mean, to say the words that seem to come too few and far between, to tell you how nice it is to sit and chat with you and share our thoughts and happy times and sometimes troubles too. A chance to thank you for the lovely things you do, for showing so much kindness and caring the whole year through. Have a wonderful birthday. Amelia, my sunshine and the love of my life. By the way, you guys probably don't know this about me, but I'm like, I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> like I've never been a confident reader. Like I'm really bad at reading loud. 30 years ago, at St. Mary's Hospital, Papa and I were waiting outside the delivery room when the door opened and your dad came out holding you. An unforgettable, magical moment. My first grandchild. It was love at first sight. Sweetheart, you exceeded my best expectations each year. You become even prettier, younger. 
and more successful. I have a feeling this year is going to be your best. The future looks orange. Enjoy all your birthday celebrations and hopefully you will have a lot more to look forward to in happiness, joy, success and good health. I wish you, I wish all your dreams come true. So proud of you, my darling. Love you more than yesterday and less than tomorrow. Her cards are the best. I think I've kept them like, I literally have piles of my Rachel's cards. Sorry, that took me even longer to read because I was trying to fight back tears. <sighs> I always leave her cards for like moments because I find them very thoughtful and beautiful. It's so nice. Also, the other thing is I know she goes around like looking for a good card, you know? Like she doesn't just go and pick one from the shelf. Like she goes and looks at them all and reads them and stuff and picks someone, picks one that suited to her. So now I am 30. I went to an appointment today and she was like, oh, how old are you? And I was like, 30. That was the first time someone's asked me how old I am and I have to say 30. It's weird. Like, to anyone thinking like, oh my god, I'm turning 30 soon, like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. It's weird being a totally different number than the past 10 years. I know it sounds silly, I know, but it, 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 <laughs> Uh, anyway, I had the best time. I feel like I really got my 20s out of me, you know, like I really did. And I'm looking forward to hopefully no more Saturn returns, touch wood. I feel ready for my 30s. I'm ready for the first summer of being 30 and I have some amazing plans for it. I hope you enjoyed coming along to my 30th birthday. It's funny because, you know what, with sharing your life online, you really don't feel like it. Like sometimes I've just been in places, I mean I've been sharing my life online for like what, like seven, eight years? Like you don't always want to do it. So sometimes I won't. But then fun things or good things happen and I want to share it with you like I would share it with my best friend. That's what it felt like this week, this past weekend. It was like, well you guys are my best friends and I, why would I want, wouldn't want to share it with you? It's nice having those moments where you forget the good and the bad of the internet and you just remember the good because there is, it sounds mean or like, it doesn't, uh, it sounds kind of sad, but there is bad on the internet. Like sometimes the trolls do speak louder than the nice comments and it makes me want to do less. But when something fun or amazing happens, the first person I want to tell is you guys. And I feel like you've, you're coming on, on my life journey with me. So why wouldn't I want to share like a fun, good time with you? So I'm 30. Let's do this. Hope you have a good week, guys. Mwah. Bye. Oh, and I'm sure I've said this already, but if I didn't, then thank you for all the birthday love. It is much appreciated. Mwah. Bye.